Ace Black Ranch finally got an inspection report from the EPA. That's after a summer of struggling with drought and heat issues. And the visit by armed U.S. Marshals and EPA inspectors last June 16. Now all they have is the inspection report. No charges and no reason for such a heavy-handed search. Marshals were good. They were good guys. Heavily armed, but they were all good guys. They thought this was kind of a waste of time, too. The blacks and their attorney call the search unreasonable, and it sent a shockwave through every farm and ranch along a riverbank in Idaho, and there's still no answers. And uh, lo and behold, they get an inspection report in the mail, and the inspection report seems to suggest that EPA was looking for wet spots on an irrigated farm. Uh, congratulations on, on that. Uh, looking at farm equipment, basically, and also, uh, most remarkably, they were inspecting irrigation pivots. So, uh, and we know from talking to the blacks that EPA also looked at irrigation ditches and diversions of water. How any of that factors into a potential Clean Water Act violation, we're all scratching our heads even more than we were before. So, um, there you have it. For 14 decades of ranching, Ace Black has been faithful stewards of the land first with flood irrigation, and now with the best management practice of pivot irrigation that keeps soil in place and a more efficient use of scarce water on the arid land. We don't take care of it, it just goes out and washes all of the field and takes it right down to CJ Stripe and dumps it, all the farm ground. That's why you, we have to take care of it, have to take care of this land because there isn't any more farm ground. The blacks and their attorney call the search unreasonable, and it sent a shockwave through every farm and ranch along a riverbank in Idaho, and there's still no answers. Absolutely. The, the blacks have been asking from the beginning uh, to EPA and the Corps of Engineers, what is it that you think we might have done wrong? Let's sit down and have a discussion, and if there's something that, that, that's, that merits attention, let's address it. Let's solve the problem. And the federal agencies have refused to have that kind of discussion, uh, re refused to provide us that basic information, went and obtained a search warrant in the dead of night from federal magistrate judge to come out and comb around 800 plus acres of irrigated farm and look for who knows what. The warrant is very broad and now we find out afterwards, uh, at least in part, that they were looking at irrigation pivots. Unannounced, the EPA showed up at Ace Black Ranch's front gate the morning of June 14th. The main focus just seemed to be anything near or around the river. After almost three days of the EPA search, the inspectors abruptly packed and left. They didn't say what they found or what warranted the search. July 23rd, the case was in federal district court in Boise. The blacks were never told what they were charged with. Ace Black Ranch's has changed our irrigation system. We went from flood irrigation to center pivots. The Bruno River Conservation District says a ranch does everything by the book and even took measures to conserve water. We're putting in a number of water conservation projects. Uh, everybody supports everybody else. This is a drought year and water is short, so putting in pivots was very helpful. Ace Black Ranch is still playing the waiting game waiting to see if the EPA will charge them, waiting for life to get back to normal. For the Voice of Agriculture, I'm Jake Putney.